What's really good, YouTube world? It's Jay Coffee Talk tapping back in with another one, guys. And you see, we're over here on my sign's Instagram. You see it, my sign, NY General, right? And peep what my sign put up here. He's talking about the killing of Dante Wright by police officer Kim Potter in Minnesota. And it says, for all the he had a warrant ass dudes. That warrant didn't warrant him being killed. So, peep it. I don't know if you guys tuned into uh, or saw the live stream that I did last night. And always make sure, um, you know, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell, guys. We talk music, news, sports, and much more over here. And we have those late night live streams where you can call in, give your take, your opinion, and we chop it up. Um, we became privy to some info. I don't know if a lot of people saw, though, that the warrant that Dante Wright had was because of, like, a clerical error. Can you believe that? That the police sent him, the police department sent him a court date, and it didn't go to the right address, got returned to sender, so they hit him with the warrant. Ain't that wild? And I was saying on the live stream last night, I remember where I used to live <clears throat> some years back, the police station moved locations, right? And when it moved locations, something happened with records or I don't know exactly how it all went down, but something happened where when they moved into the new spot, they were flucking ish up like people who had court dates and had already been sentenced and the case was disposed of. They like I think they lost the records or someone dropped a computer. I don't know because people whose court cases were already um, taken care of, they were ending up with warrants. Um, people who had warrants um, got picked up and IR wired. They had warrants like they just made a big mistake with a ton of cases and people were getting erroneously arrested. That's wild, right? But hit the comments, guys. Let's see what everyone's talking about here. But peep it. Regardless, okay, um, whenever I cover uh, these kind of um, situations where someone is killed by the police, someone is beaten by the police or, or something like that. And guys, I always put it out there. I'm not anti-police, right? I'm not anti-police. I don't sit here and say Everything a cop does is wrong. I don't say that there's cops that ain't helping people. I'm just, you know, calling, uh, you know, speaking on certain situations. And um, when, when, when you see this, right, it's crazy to think that this woman was like a veteran police officer, right? She was a veteran in the police world and made that kind of mistake like that. And no, that warrant didn't warrant him being killed i'm also seeing a lot of people debating and going back and forth about why he was pulled over there's a guy out there named terrence k williams i don't know if you guys are familiar with him when yg did the whole thing with the trump supporter where he brought him on stage and shamed him and all that and people guys i didn't support that at all i thought that was type corny on yg's part you know because he wanted a lot of points for doing that and it was like come on yg this is this is a kid basically you know what i mean like leave him alone let him like i don't know but that's besides the point but anyways the terrence k williams dude was like going in on yg and he had went viral on some other political uh situations and you know stories and um he he's very vocal about a lot of the stuff that goes on and he's saying yo people are lying about him being pulled over, oh, excuse me, him being pulled over for the rear view. He was pulled over because he had a warrant, but I don't know if that was true because from my understanding, I heard it, well, wasn't it something with the tags? And once again, guys, drop a comment. Let's talk. You know what I mean? I ain't on here uh, trying to argue with people. I truly want to know what everyone thinks. I truly, you know, uh, believe what, why, what my son is saying here. This man did not want the warrant isn't a warrant and for execution. Um, you know, should a lot of people, you know, should he have resisted? Uh, no, 
Okay. Um, but, uh, well, but anyways, but back to what I was saying, um, from my understanding, I'm hearing he got pulled over for one reason. Then they learned he had a warrant when they ran his name. So I don't believe he was pulled over for having a warrant. I believe T Terrence K. Williams had that one wrong. I believe, but, um, you know, terrible, uh, situation, Dante Wright lost his life, um, you know, and with that whole situation, what I was saying about the warrant where he didn't seem to, he didn't know he had uh, a warrant or some kind of clerical error. Um, and guys, what I was talking about with that old police station flucking up and people going to jail under fa fa false warrants or whatnot, there's ish that like that, that happens a lot that I could tell you guys about, you know, and, um, and that's a whole nother conversation. But anyways, a lot of people are like, oh, you know, he shouldn't have resisted. Look what he got. Like, that's OK. OK, um, listen, he made a mistake. 20 years old, young man gets pulled, learns that he has a warrant. And, you know, he's kind of like, wait, hold on. What's going on here? And he pulls away. Yes, he should not have done that. But um, he made a mistake that day. And a lot of people who want to act like that. Like, you know, those are the same type of people if someone gets an attitude with them somewhere, they always got to have the last word. Or, you know, uh, someone messes their order up at the drive through and they got to go back through tripping, you know. They get cut in line and they can't take it. Like, people lose their cool or lose control of their emotions sometimes and overreact. And that's, you know, this young man got to, you know, he's like, whoa, what's going on? You know what I mean? And what's going on? And and then he's killed. That ain't right. So I don't know. I'm just kind of speaking, rambling on, I guess, a little something. But when I just came across this post by my son, I was like, facts, man. Why does everyone always throw that out there? That if someone had, a, you know, someone had a warrant. Oh, okay, well, now now that makes it okay that they're dead. And once again, guys, veteran police officer made that kind of mistake. And, yo, that was wild, too, on the footage you guys hear where she's like, Taser, I'm going to tase you. Taser, 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 taser. She said taser and I'm going to tase you like 50 times. And is a veteran officer and did not realize through all that that she was holding a gun with live ammunition. Ain't that crazy? Let's peep some of these comments, though. Um, let's see. Someone says, exactly. Let's get something straight. The penalty for having a warrant is not death. The penalty for not complying is not death. The penalty for, oh, he was high on drugs is not death. The penalty for having prior arrest is not death. However, if the penalty for any of the above mentioned is death, the police officer is not judge and jury. It is not the police officer's job to determine guilt or innocence and invoke that penalty facts right uh someone says i saw a video saying he had a warrant because they sent the summons to the wrong address um let's see what the replies are saying on this straight facts yep sent it to the wrong address how is that his fault and like i said guys what I'm, we're talking about there clerical error sentence so i can tell you a lot of situations like that where people lives got all messed up and it wasn't their fault you feel me um, and for him to be in law or right there and for her to be in law enforcement 25 years, she should know that the taser is holstered opposite of your dominant hand. Yeah, like, come on. How, like and like I said, she's saying taser about 50 times, but like, oh, no, she's holding the gun. Come on. Wake up. He could have just went into custody. He did something he shouldn't have. Resisting is wrong. Patience is how you survive. That's what uh, someone said. It was a punk-ass warrant for some weed. Weed legal almost everywhere. And other one, and the other one was some other dumb ass shaking my head. Word, man. Warrant for arrest doesn't mean wanted dead or alive. Plus, the warrant was due to the court's mistake. So, um, I don't know, everyone, join the discussion. I just wanted to chime in on this. It's Jay Coffee Talk. Don't forget to subscribe. Tune in on them live streams and call in, guys. Want to kick it with everyone. This platform is about tapping in with the people, hearing what everyone's got to say. Thanks for the support. I'm out of here, guys. Peace.